Expanding further on the topic of no prep elite and why we're seeing this abrupt change with it in the middle of the no prep king season. I don't know if this is for sure. Again, I kind of had a problem with talking about this topic recently with seeing that I am the source for a lot of these articles being written about this topic. But it's a topic of Dana White and his involvement with, I don't even know what to call it. It's not straight out laws. It doesn't seem like it's no prep kings because it's now no prep elite. But like, nonetheless, the reason for this change, I saw people saying that the reason for this is, oh, this is Dana White making the change and his this is like the beginning of him taking over and implementing changes and stuff into what was three outlaws and no prep kings is this true is this a fact i have no idea i have absolutely no idea these are rumors i am seeing online but if i'm being honest i think it would make sense if this is dana white's doing this abrupt change to just drop it halfway through the season like we just talked about in the last episode of no prep news we are exactly halfway through the season we have eight no prep kings races left and then we just see this mega, mega change right now. Like, dude, it's like, it's so weird. Like, it, it, it's, it's completely changing. It's not even like it's Street Outlaws no prep lead. It's like the Street Outlaws name is gone. Like, so fans are going to be super confused. A lot of people are going to have no idea what's going on. And the only reason I could see them making that big of a change, if it's something such as the first change Dana White would be doing to it. That's the only reason I could see them being like, okay, with doing that big of a change in the middle of the season. Because this could be a detriment to the remainder of the season, the success of like the live streams and all that stuff. Because like people don't even know what it's going to be called anymore. So it'd be like looking for no prep, straight outlaws, no prep kings. And that just straight up doesn't exist anymore. So it's like, I think that the only way we'd see a change of that magnitude is if a name like Dana White is the one behind it. And also, too, the $150,000 winner-take-all playoff race at the end. We've seen big money around Street Outlaws. $150,000 just being added in out of nowhere for one final race. Like, dude, this, it has to be him. It has to be him. If it's not, I have no idea who else is behind No Prep Kings or the future of Street Outlaws? Or future, no Prep. I don't even know what to call it anymore. It's not Street Outlaws. It's not No Prep Kings. No Prep Elite. The future of No Prep Elite. Like whoever's behind it right now, you'll hats off to them for shooting in this electrifying race right here at the very end. It's gonna be awesome to see. But I do believe that this is most likely the doings of Dana White. If I had to guess, again, these are just rumors going around online, and I have to admit that I would agree with said rumors, but again, they are rumors. Nothing is for sure. Nothing is a fact. I am assuming only someone like Dana White could make this magnitude of a change at this point in the season. Do you think this is Dana White's doing, or do you think it's some other big name behind what is now No Prep Elite? Let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section down below.